chips. So let's see how you got on. Chips. Chips? Yeah. Why is that weird? Because, because it's a Chinese. You don't get chips at the Chinese. Put you chips don't... with anything. But chips and curry sauce, that's like an Indian, it's right? Chips with... and curry sauce is the thing in Wales. But not, but anyway. not, but not, in, a, but not in China. <laughs> it's all kicked off. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It tastes nice anywhere. Uh, right, we'll find out if Charlotte and Jack get their takeaway before the end of the show, won't we? We will. Stephen's not the only funny man we have on the show tonight. Sorry, mate. No, no. Shortly, we'll be welcoming back to the sofa the brilliant writer behind a host of television classics, including The Vicar of Dibley and Mrs Brown's Boys. That's after we see him launch his brand new career. You said you were doing the shows in Edinburgh. 26, I know, yes. 25, 25 shows. and 26 days. Yes, incredible. So, I mean, you said, you told me before the programme, that you were a bit anxious. Yes. About Paul, for you know anybody out there today that for one lots of people say comedy is a kind of coping mechanism passionate about and you've had the freedom to go for it. Yeah. Problem. Do you think you find it more cathartic to write about it or to also <laughs> incurable optimist great title is at the underbelly at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival from the first of August. Clever title. Now uh, many of us, myself included, have been having a dilemma this week about what to wear. I mean, it's raining where we are right now. It I don't is, know if it is where you are. But um, what to wear in order to stay cool in the hot weather? Because the one show <laughs> office... we now trying to persuade <laughs> straight-laced business types to show a bit of leg in the office. Yeah. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Are they are shorts they or not these are, subtle, are they? Shorts. Well, I don't know. Did you just take your trousers off? No, they? these are <laughs> these are boxer shorts. <laughs> what do you think about pink's a bit outlandish, don't you think? Can we get yeah, they're quite nice actually. Early in the evening, yeah. yeah. Well, you as an inspiration, that's anyway, why. Anyway. I think we could all do with a bit of therapy after that, which is fortunate, yeah. <laughs> you see, because Stephen's really, really funny. You play a therapist, don't you, called Richard? And we have an extraordinary cast of people who come in to play the clients. Oh, extraordinary. Got the, the character he plays has got as many issues as his, as his clients. He's an he's a anxious, confused, Well, we wanted the therapy. Guy. We didn't want the therapy. With the brilliant Richard E. Grant. <laughs> <laughs> that is... As a comedy writer, how do you feel about actors going on? Go on now. Oh, no, I, was gonna, I was waiting for you to start. I was going to say Hang Up starts on Wednesday, the 8th of August, 10 pm on Channel 4, and it's absolutely fantastic. I saw the first episode yeah. and it's brilliant. Stephen, thanks for coming in. Now, the summer holidays are in full swing, so what better time to take a trip to the seaside in the company of two strictly fabulous sisters? The conversation was magical. Shame about the weather. Portrush there wasn't the best, but we nope. did do um, a show from there last summer and it was glorious and it was absolutely spectacular. So, What's it doing Portrush, today? we've seen you in, in rain and in sunshine. In full technicolour. Yes. Stephen, you, am I right? I think you had two younger... Thanks for getting out there and delivering all that mail. <laughs> exactly. He didn't, seem, he didn't seem fully appreciative of the fact that you... <laughs> and also, he's had a long week, to be fair. Um, now, Stephen, we know you celebrate your 50th this year. All right, thank um, you. <laughs> Matt and I will be chatting to Sue Johnston on Monday. Enjoy the moon. It's supposed I'm off to, to be spectacular. I'm tonight. off to order a Chinese. See you later. In huh? your shorts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs>